What's up YouTube, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about questions to ask your sellers in your wholesaling real estate business. I've been getting questions from you all on what should I say to the seller? What are some important questions to ask them? In, in today's video, we're just going to outline them and just talk about different questions that can get you closer and closer to getting your first deal or your second deal and getting consistent deals on a monthly basis in this business. And I do have a video on questions you never thought of asking your sellers or buyers. I'll put a card over here somewhere where you can watch that video. But in that video, I break down questions to ask sellers and questions to ask buyers. But I really want to hone in and concentrate on sellers today because that's the meat and potatoes of this business. And honestly, getting the deal and talking with the seller is more difficult than finding the buyer, in my opinion, because once you have a deal, if the numbers make sense, buyers will be all over your deal. So if you all find any value in this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. So the first question I wanna talk about, or the first question I want you all to really concentrate on when you're talking to your sellers is the purpose behind your call. And really that's to find if there's any motivation behind um, the seller wanting to sell their property for cash. So that's the main thing we're trying to get out of the seller when we're talking to sellers, not about the house or about price necessarily. Uh, that's the focal point and like all these other questions help you get to that point. So remember throughout your whole conversations, keep that in the back of your head. I need to find the motivation behind them wanting to sell and bring that out. Keep on bringing that out and you know, move them more and more to understanding that they need to or they want to sell their house. How do you get that motivation out of them? So we all know like the basic criteria. So one way is just asking about the timeline to sell. So when you ask the sellers the timeline to sell, essentially you're, you're prompting them to give you a reason why they want to sell in 30 days or never you know so if someone says never then you know there's no motivation if they say a year from now there's some motivation but not as much if they say hey in the next few months in the next few weeks then you're all like okay there's motivation behind that and once you ask that question a lot of times they'll start asking different other questions or like just revealing more and more things like oh i need to move out in two months because it's in pre-foreclosure or because of this because of that so that's one question to always ask your seller. Hey, hey, Mrs. Sally or um, John, I know um, we buy pro we buy properties for cash, but I just wanted to know, you know, if we can bring you a cash offer and close the property. You know, how how soon are you looking to sell? And then they'll give you the reasons. Another reason or another question to get this motivation. Remember, that's the main focal point of our conversations with sellers, getting that motivation now, is talking about the condition of the property. Uh, because most of the time, as wholesalers, we're going after off-market properties that can't necessarily sell on market or may need some cosmetic or repairs done on the property. And so when you start talking about that, they can start talking about, yeah, that's why I'm looking to sell because I don't want to have to pay for this, pay for that, and different things like that. Another question I like to ask my sellers is, um, especially like if they're calling me like off of a um, like direct mail or PPC lead where they're coming to me. So obviously there's some motivation why they want to sell their property for cash or why they what, what prompted them to call this number, right? And so after you're ask, asking different questions, this is a question I like to use that I see a lot of people don't ask is, so why cash? Why are you looking to sell your property for cash? Why not fix it up or a little bit, or even if it's decent, why not put it in a market? Why cash? And that, that, that's a very direct question, um, but I like the way it's phrased. It's not just asking the seller, hey, what's your motivation? Why do you want to sell? But why for cash? You know, what do you need the cash for? And different things like that. And and things will start coming out of the seller's mouth and just uh, to reveal to you the motivation behind them selling. So remember, that's the focus, motivation. And those are three different questions you need to ask your sellers while you're wholesaling real estate. Another great question I like to ask my sellers to bring them closer and closer to getting this deal done is that let's say I'm 
talking, let's say it's a cold call lead and we talk for a while, I built rapport, or even if it's a follow-up lead I've been following up with for a few weeks, um, what question, what, a question I like to ask is, what can we do to make this easier for you? You know, and I really like that question because being a cash investor, cash buyer, the transaction is already pretty easy. And so by um, bringing that question up to them, it, it, it puts guards down. We're like, wow, okay, this person is trying to help me. This person is wanting to know what they can do to help me as opposed to just stealing my property for a cheap price. So. Um, when you ask that question, they'll start talking about the benefits you offer to say, hey, you know, what, what can make this easy for me? It's like, if I can just leave this house, everything in it, if I don't have to repair it, if I can just move uh, closer to my family and different things like that. And that again, reveals more of the motivation behind um, them wanting to sell because you're always bringing that out. That's how you're bringing, building rapport. Um, by bringing that motivation out when you're speaking with your sellers. And so that's what I like to ask, you know, what can we do to make this easier for you? And actually, if they say something, actually do it. So if they say, hey, we need help finding a storage place, you actually go out there and find them a U-Haul or a storage place, a mini storage place that you know that has great rates that they can use. They need help moving. Hey, if you're a young person, you have a healthy body, you better go out there and help that seller move or, or just refer them to a good um, mover company if they want to hire somebody or something like that. So if they actually tell you something, you have to abide by your word if you're going to ask that question and different things like that. So what can we do to make this easier for you is another great question. But the last and final thing I like to ask my sellers, and this is more referring to a follow-up lead. So let's say you're following up with a seller and it's been a week, it's been a month, it's been two months, it's been three months, four months, and it's just this constant follow-up, but it hasn't gone anywhere. Now you have to start asking hard hitting questions and kind of put a little bit of pressure on your sellers when you've been following up with them for a little bit, but nothing has changed. And so one thing I like to do is um, give like objectives or goals that we can accomplish together on our next call. So for example, I was working with a seller. I've been following up with her for months and she didn't live in her property, but she was embarrassed of it. She, it was junky. And I said, hey, we're an investor. We've seen everything under the sun. You know, I'm used to properties like this. Let me just meet you there. But she would, she was not having it. And so she was all like, I want to go see it, you know, you move things around and different things like that. I was like, okay. And that was our conversation for a few weeks. And then finally I was all like, hey, so I'm going to call you next week because this is the time I usually call you every single week <laughs> or every single two weeks. By the time I call you next week, I want you to be able to go have been went to your house, you know, whatever you had to do, move certain things, probably take some private things out. I don't know what you have to do before our next call, even before me going to your property. And she actually really appreciated me doing that and saying that she was all like, oh, okay, wow, thank you. I appreciate the little bit of pressure and always say it in love and comfort, um, but just say, hey, you know, you know, I don't wanna waste your time. You don't wanna waste my time. Um, it seems like, you know, you have this burden on you and I'm really trying to help. Um, is it possible that you can do this by the next time we call or get this information from your tenants or something like that? Um, so, so you can have something to follow up with them, um, you know, on the phone call and just m progress the deal even more. All right, you all, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. It was just a straight to the point video of different questions to ask your sellers in wholesaling real estate. Hope you all really enjoyed it. Be sure to once again, like this video and subscribe. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.